everybody. We're back here at the Senior Lounge of the Fullerton Community Center for another session of Art at Home. Today's project is going to be a little piece of summertime coming into your home or maybe on your patio with these seashell wind chimes. They actually don't sound like much. I'm going to call them wind chimes. It's more like a, a beautiful kinetic little wall hanging or something you can put on your patio indoors or outdoors and it's beautiful memories of sea glass and seashells and we've got a few little wooden beads too so every piece will be really unique let's get started so in your art at home kit you're going to get a piece of genuine driftwood a handful of cool uh, sea glass and seashells and some wooden beads that are already uh, pre-drilled for your creation. A piece of hemp cord for a hanger, and then a length of monofilament. This is like fishing wire, super thin fishing wire. So the first thing you do is you cut about, I don't know, this is about a yard of the monofilament. We're gonna do each strand one by one. Good luck finding the middle of that one. That wasn't so bad. Pull that a little bit more. Try to get it more or less even. Find the little loop, put it on your stick, Feed the other two through the loop and pull it tight, okay? That way you don't have to have any unsightly um, knots at the top of your hanging. Next, start stringing your materials onto the, onto the doubled cord. We're using the doubled cord to make it a little bit more, um, a little bit more sturdy. So there's no right or wrong way to do it. I'm going to start with this beautiful blue sea glass bead right through the end. Find a good place for it. Works for me. Then we're going to feed the ends through. So this will kind of hold it in place. See, it stays put more or less. For a little extra security, tie a knot at the bottom of it and then go on with your next bead. If it starts fighting back like this, go ahead and tape it down. Tape this thing into submission. All right, stop fighting. Okay, so we have three pieces. I mean, you, you'll probably want to do more than that, but just for the, the illustration, I'm going to show you how to do the, the heavier bit at the bottom. Because this is such a lightweight material, um, you want to weigh it down a, a little bit by putting uh, your, your heavier items at the bottom. So we're going to use this piece of sea glass. And you know, to a certain extent, you can decide to Sometimes you really can't. The material will decide for you. And then this is kind of like a little, like a little footnote to that. Okay. So then we're going to feed everything through again to hold it in place. Isn't that pretty? I want to move it up a little bit. Feed it through again. Make sure you feed it through both parts. And then tie a little knot at the end. Okay. And there you have your first hanging piece. As you see, the weight of the, the bottom glass bead sort of holds this thing together. So you can do, you know, as, as, as many strings as you want. I think we have enough for you to do at least four. And you can add all of the little bits and pieces in different orders. You can also play around with length, like maybe you want it to be in a V shape or an inverted or like a pyramid shape, longer at the ends shorter in the middle. I don't know. Sky's the limit. Okay, so once you have, you know, three or four or five of these uh, strands, then it's time to make the hanger. So we have a piece of hemp cord. So just tie a knot at one end. A little double knot will do. And then the same thing at the other end. You can always uh, trim off any excess. And it should hold pretty well without any tape or glue or anything like that. From the excess and you have a beautiful little hanger. This does kind of make a nice sound. <laughs> can go in the breeze and remind you of all the happy days of summer. 
and the beautiful colors of the sky and the sand and the ocean. If you don't like the uh, little ends, just, just trim them off. Also, if you want to keep these uh, in one place, if you feel strongly about this being there and that being there, put a little dab of clear nail polish on it. It'll hold it in place and it won't be visible. Okay, well, I'm sure your creations will be even cooler than mine. So I can't wait to see what you've done. Uh, please take pictures of your finished products or maybe even of the steps along the way and uh, share them with us here at the Community Center by sending us an email at the address on your screen. Or you can share on social media with hashtag FCC Art at Home. And a special shout out to our friends at Optum for sponsoring this session of Art at Home. Can't wait till next time where we have more artistic fun in store for you. Until then, be creative. See ya. Bye-bye.